Hey, blessed day. Uh, my name is Beek, and uh, I just want to testify of God's goodness in my life and also in the life of my brother. Um, there was a particular afternoon, maybe about two months ago, where we, my brother and I were just talking on the steps in our house, and um, we were just talking about the kingdom. We are talking about how we can be better Christians, how we can be more responsible as young men in today's society, in today's world. And as we were talking, it seemed as if my brother was just dazing out. And sometimes I know my brother to be very goofy in a sense. Sometimes he can joke with me and all that stuff. So I didn't take it seriously at first. Um, he was just dizzing out. And then all of a sudden, he literally fell off the steps. I feel bad because I didn't really catch him. He just kind of fell face on the steps. And at that instant, I know something was wrong. Um, he started shaking as if it was, uh, as if it was, he was going through a seizure. Um, and he began to sweat profusely. Um, in that moment, I'm like, wow, you know, situations like that is what we see on the news, is what we see in movies, is what we see happen to other people. But when it now comes back full circle on your end, um, it's a different feeling. So I started screaming, Bode, Bode, wake up, you know, just trying to like see like what's going on with him, like what's going on like this is weird. This is just a regular afternoon, like other afternoons, right? And um, I started to drag him because he lost consciousness. It's as if he was dead, but he was just, he was shaking and his eyes was like going in circles. It was actually very, very um, tough to see. So I brought him to the you know, bathroom and as I was just taking him to the bathroom, just to kind of like try to sit him on the commode, just to kind of gather himself because that was the nearest um, room or space available. Um, I started just like praying in the name of Jesus, Bode, wake up. In the back of my mind, I wanted to call 911, but I was in such shock. I was in such, I was in a moment in a headspace where I was like, I've never been through this, through this before. What is the, what, what is the thing that I can quickly call out to, reach out to, that can bring saving, bring deliverance to my brother in that, in that moment in time. So as he was in the bathroom, I tried to sit him on the commode, he literally collapsed inside of the bathtub. He like, he lost total consciousness. So I'm screaming, I'm like, Bode, in the mighty name of Jesus, you must wake up now. You must wake up now. This is not your lot. This is not your portion. You have more things to do in this life. God wants you to do great things. I started prophesying, started decreeing, started praying out loud. And I remember that we prayed over a mantle about a month ago during that time. And man, I've never really used a mantle in this situation. I've used it for maybe things regarding you know, finances, maybe things for God canceling debt and all those other things. But when it came to this, I've never used it before, but this is where I took action with my faith. And um, I started hitting him with the mantle. I took a going to go quickly, put it a little on, I placed on his forehead. Um, I started hitting him with the mantle. And that's when he began to now start saying, Beek, Beek, like he was now speaking. He was like, Beek, Beek. You know, like he was trying to grab his breath. So I'm like, that's it. And then he wants you to speak, speak. I was just praying for him. And I now placed the mantle over his head. And I said, Bode, wake up, wake up. You must wake up. So he finally regained consciousness. He said, Beak, is everything okay? Like, I don't know what's going on type stuff. So then I, as he was able to gain consciousness, he, he gained mobility of his body again. He was able to move with his legs, his arms. And I took him down to our living room. And, you know, I just placed the mantle over there. I told him not to move. You know, but um, I just started praying, just, just told him to relax, confess Psalms 91, um, quickly made him something to eat, but glory be to God, hallelujah, that my brother, you know, is alive today and he's doing well. But I just really want to thank God for just, you know, taking action and just delivering my brother, you know, from that moment. And I believe that it's the faith that I use, I responded to in that moment of time that God made my brother whole. So I just really want to thank God for the preservation of my brother's life. I do have to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah! God is faithful.